bright, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all, this is Amanda, and welcome back to my Texas Zone 8A garden. And today we are maybe cleaning out the front porch and getting it all set up for spring and planting several shade containers. Okay, for those of you who are new to the channel, this is my front porch. It's an L-shaped type front porch. This area gets mostly deep shade um, the entire year. The back half of um, this one gets deep shade and the front half gets part shade, part sun. And I redo it for pretty much every season. And spring is one of my favorite seasons to do. And so let me do a little bit of a walkthrough. We are making some significant changes this year. Um, this bench is leaving and I have a Facebook Marketplace project that's going to be going here. We are going to be doing a high concentration of shade planters. These are two um, planters that I've already done that are doing absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that bacopa, y'all. Yeah, these are beautiful. And they need to be watered, but I don't want to water them yet until I've got everything in place. So we're going to be really doing it up in here beautifully. And then back over here, if you remember last year, I changed out to the Bistro set. That's going to be um, getting deck decked out. And then these two containers that I have typically filled um, each, each season changed out, they're actually getting moved. They're not going to be right here anymore. So we're definitely going to be changing some things up on the porch. But let's start with a fresh clean out. Whenever I'm working on a porch area, the first thing I do is remove everything from the for uh, porch and just you know hose it off clean it off dust it off whatever needs to be done to make sure it's ready before i start putting anything back in Okay, so I've gone ahead and laid in some basics. So I got this sofa table off of Facebook Marketplace and I painted it utilizing paint that I already had. And then I used um, beeswax or lemon oil and beeswax on the top. Um, this had a lot of damage. Um, it has a lot of issues. I got this guy for 30 bucks. It is not like an antique or anything. It's just kind of just like a generic like 80s blonde wood piece, maybe 90s blonde wood piece. And so I feel good about putting it out here. It is gonna have plants on here. It is out in the uh, elements, so we'll get some damage over time, that's fine. I also have this mirror that I've already had in my house and I like it. It was originally found in like an old barn and it's been painted white and you know that kind of typical 2010 kind of farmhouse style. I think eventually I might refinish it, but I'm not going to do that at this point just because I don't want to take on that project right now. But the idea is that the entryway 
is gonna feel warmer. Um, I switched everything to this long wall, whereas in the past I've done everything on this kind of shorter wall. And I kind of feel better about this. I, I think when you're putting such a big statement piece like that, you need a little bit more space. So what I'm gonna continue doing is I'm gonna pot up a few more um, shade plants and then continue working in, into this area. And then back over here, I went ahead and put back in some of my basics. I put in my Be Sure table, and this was a Facebook Marketplace find last year. And I painted it all like it's still really in good shape. And then this antique um, architectural column from a house, um, a really old house. I got this uh, maybe last spring, I think. Um, I got it from an antique fair like that. Still have my mirror up here that I got years ago for like 20 bucks. Looks really good. I love mirrors on the front porch. I think it looks really nice. So I moved these two planters just because I want more room um, in this area where I come sit. I do think I'm going to do a collection of planters on here and down here and the whole thing. I think it'd be really nice. New cushions for there. Love the look as we walk this way. I probably definitely need to power wash my concrete, but that's just not gonna happen right now. But so far so good. So let's get some more elements taken care of. Okay, here we are part way through and I completed both of these planters, which are all shaped plants. I think they both look really nice. These are the ones that are typically used as seasonal planters up front. I think I need to have a smaller rug situation here because I have the really big gather one out there. See right there? It's too big for the space now. 
So um, I'll utilize it somewhere else. I think I have a smaller mat out back that I can bring. I don't really wanna buy something for there. I would like to eventually purchase a rug here, indoor outdoor rug to go here, but I think that'll be at a later time. Now, I did come over here and I put a couple of terracotta pots in one of my bust pieces. I think I'm gonna plant um, Triscanthia in her because it's still a little bit more. And then I did see $15 Eugenia topiaries at Walmart. So I think I'm gonna get one of those to go right there. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that guy. I might repeat a little bit of the geranium there, the pink geranium. It might be really fun for a really kind of pop color right there. But it's definitely coming together. It's definitely what I envisioned. And I'm really having fun with the space, kind of forcing myself to do something a little bit different. And then back on this side, so typically right here, I bring out some of my house plants that I've been in all winter and I'll put them there. And then I put a couple of other things here. I have a shrub. This is a variegated pittosporum. It prefers um, shade part sun. So I'm gonna plant it up in that container right there. And I've got another one plant up there. And then I've got this guy that I got it from, Mar for, uh, let's see, Facebook Marketplace years ago. I've never done anything with it. But I think it'd be a fun project um, to line the inside of it put in soil and maybe fill with geraniums or something coming out of it. I think it would be really fun to do that. Something along those lines would be really cool. I also think that right here, I might do a hanging basket. I think it would be really pretty there and fun and still keep the space nice and open. So I think I'm gonna run to Walmart, pick up a couple of things so I can finish up these planters and then I'll be back. And let's see if we can get to, you know, close to wrapping all of this up. I don't think I'm going to like have every single aspect today, but you guys can kind of get the, you know, gist of how different this is going compared to what I've done in the past. I definitely want it to feel very whimsical, warm, inviting, fun. I don't want it to be too stuffy and perfect. Um, but yeah, I really like the Triscanthia coming off of this planter how pretty that is and I saw right there is all my purple shamrocks coming back and um, there are several little spout and um, they got messed up when I was messing around but so right here is a perennial of purple shamrocks which will be perfect in that container you can see all the reds purples greens and pinks that I'm working with it's looking really really good okay here's the Eugenia topiaries now, these are not hardy in my zone, so they do have to come inside, um, but they are only $14.98 each. They also have some triples. Let's see if they can find those. But I'm picking out one of those and put it in one of the terracotta pots on the sideboard outside. I think it's going to look fabulous. I, mean, I don't see the other Eugenia. Let me go look around. Okay, here's the triples. Eugenia topiaries. Once again, these have to come inside in my zone. These are part sun, $40. These might, one of these might be fun at a later point. I'm just not sure at this point. So I'm going to stick with the smaller one to go on the sideboard.
Okay, so I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> okay, um, so the part where I was replanting the Eugenia cut off, but basically I just have an old terracotta that I terracotta pot that I already owned, and these little saucers are from uh, Walmart. And so I filled it with potting soil, planted the Eugenia, and then put just some moss, dried moss around the base of it. And that'll help with um, moisture retention. It does have like hard water spots on the leaves, but it doesn't stress me at all. I think it looks really nice. And then I also potted up the geranium in the same fashion, um, the same little um, water catch at the bottom, terracotta pot, the dried moss around the base, and just then the pretty geraniums right there. I think it's gorgeous. This print is a print that I made in college, so it's from 2002, and um, it's a photograph, it's a print of a photograph that I took when I toured the Louvre in Paris, and I think it looks really good. I like that sage color, and that sage color is going to be repeated in other elements, um, but this whole area, I mean, look at that, y'all. Isn't it beautiful? And I can continue to add containers. Like it would be beautiful to lay some more containers under here. I've got a couple of things that might work really well, um, but I'm just I'm not gonna add them at this point. I used the faux boxwood wreath that I also used at Christmas. And then I had this last year, it's really held up well, looking really nice on the front door. Just very simple and nothing crazy. I think it looks really nice. So I think the space, I think I'm going to stop here. And the reason being is my budget is shot. We're done. <laughs> so I would like for to look for a rug or carpet um, in a new, um, a new door rug, a doormat, I think would look really nice. But I think this just looks really beautiful. And I think this is a good place to stop over here. Now, Let's shift over to this side. And I think I'm going to divide this video into a part two. And because I feel like this feels like a whole different section. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to work on bringing out my house plants. I'm going to create a hanging basket, a few more designs right here to put all this together. And then I'll present a part two of the front porch showing this whole area and how I work on it. I think that'll be really nice. But for now, I'm really happy with how this looks. Such an extension of my home. Really love it, love the deeper colors. I think it looks really great. Okay, it's chilly. <laughs> um, it's definitely at the end of the day, this was an all day process to get all of this done. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Absolutely, I'm thrilled. I can't stop thinking about it. I keep walking in and out to look at it. Absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you'll join me for part two, which I'll probably post next week um, or, or maybe two weeks after that. I got to let my budget turn over because <laughs> I did spend some money on new plants for the shade planters. I spent $30 on um, that table. I bought the Eugenia and an additional geranium. So there are just some elements that I ended up purchasing. And while they're not all overly expensive, I have a certain amount of money that I can spend every month regarding gardening and I don't go over that. So um, I don't want to stress my family out by going over that budget. So what I'll probably do is maybe the first week in April, um, I'll go ahead and do the other side of the porch and then share that with you all as well. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up, including the part two of this video. And make sure you check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. As always, she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.